Hi MTG fans, this is Brian with MTG Resurgence. Well, I'll be opening various booster boxes, mainly from Standard, but I will be trying to get booster packs and boxes from the older series, some modern stuff, legacy, vintage, stuff like that. Today I picked this booster box up from the Gaming Goat in Geneva, Illinois. There's various Gaming Goat stores. Um, so I would recommend going there and stopping and uh, picking yourself up a box or some packs. They got various singles too. So today I'm going to crack this box open and uh, see what we get. So let's start it. Um, well, let's get start cracking. A little piece of paper. And pack number one. And we're going to be looking for this. Uh, I need a Planeswalker, it's pretty good. And, uh, sorry about the cast, I had a little accident there at work. But we'll jump straight to the, uh, Uncommons. Shrapnel Blast. Paragon of New Dawns. Feral Incarnation, and our first rare is... Cruel Sadist. One black for 1-1. One, one. Pay one black. Tap and pay one life. Put a plus one plus one counter on Cruel Sadist. Or two and one black. And tap. Remove X plus one plus one counters from Cruel Sadist. Cruel Sadist deals X damage to target creature. And soldier. Next pack. So, I just got back into uh, magic around Journey to the Next, I started back with, uh, Revised. Got out right about at the start of Apocalypse. And, uh, yeah, just got back into it because I missed it. And, um, yeah, this has been fun ever since I've jumped back in. First Uncommon is Curd Chieftain. Jace's Ingenuity. It's a great Uncommon. Congregate. And there's... Rare is a mythic rare, Soul of Chandelier. Two red and four for a 6-6 six, six first strike. Pay two red and three, Soul of Chandelier deals three damage to target player and three damage up to one target creature that player controls. And exile it from your graveyard and it does the same thing. There we go. So I hope everything is going uh, great. This is my very first video right <clears throat> at the new year of 2015. And yeah. First uncommon is Ulcerate. Second uncommon is Nightfire Giant. And Paragon of Eternal Wilds. And the rare is Hushwing Griff. One white and two for a 2 1 flash. And flying creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. Not bad. Not a bad card. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've been. Ever since I started, I started playing at the Gaming Goat. <clears throat> Back when I started, uh, there weren't as many tournaments and places going around as there is now. But it's been a lot of fun and to learn all the new. Tournament styles with standard, modern, EDH, legacy, vintage. It's all pretty cool. Alright, first uncommon is Staff of the Flame Magus. And then a Shrapnel Blast. This is Expedition. And rare is an Obelisk of Erd. Six colorless. And with Convoke, as Obelisk of Erd enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control of chosen type get plus two, plus two. But as, as, more, uh, as the time goes on, I hope to get some more modern stuff, more interesting stuff than the standard stuff that we got going on right now. Common Blood Host, Grave Digger, Ancient 
Silverback. There it is a rare is Ingurix Wake. Destroy all creatures you don't control and all planeswalkers you don't control. Two black and a seven. And our we have a foil. Dissipate. And here we're on to our next pack. So I know right now Tom Parkier is out. And um, I enjoyed that set. It's a very good set. And I also enjoyed M15. Nice, a lot of good stuff in M15. This looks like we have a foil back there. First uncommon, military intelligence. Paragon of Gathering Mists and Circle of the Flame. And our rare is Crucible of Fire, Red and 3, Enchantment. Dragon creatures you control get plus 3, plus 3. Eh, there's probably good with the new Khan series. And our foil is a glacier, Glacial Crasher. First Uncommon is a Tormod's Crypt, Frenzied Goblin, a Wall of Limbs, and a rare is another Obelisk of Erd. No reason to go through that. Ah, hit when you get double rares in a box, and it's not a good one. <laughs> Alright. First Uncommon, Constricting Sliver, Caustic Tar, Wall of Frost, and our rare is Obulus Obnixulus Unshackled. Six for a 4 for flying trample. When an opponent searches his or her library, that player sacrifices a creature and loses 10 life. When another creature dies, put a plus one plus one counter on Obnixulus. Pretty good card. I like it. Definitely see some play. So are we all excited about the new set to come out? The new Fate Reforged? I know I am. Seen uh just not the um cards that have already been seen. Not a bad set, not a bad set at all. Our first uncommon is Dauntless River Marshal, Roaring Primadox, Dissipate, and a rare is a Fire Titan. Six for a 7 2 when Fire Titan dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control at the beginning of his or her next upkeep. Not a bad card. <clears throat> and squid Token. Again, sorry with the cast, it's a nice big inconvenience for me, and I'm trying my best. <laughs> Alright, Venom Sliver, Capsho Kite Fins, Devouring Light, and Rare. It's a Polymorphs Jess, Polymorphous Jess. Two blue and one until end of turn, each creature target player control loses all abilities and becomes a blue frog with base power and toughness 1 1. That's a pretty good card. I like it. So far, no wows yet in this box, but <clears throat> still, not some horrible cards either. Alright, Brood Keeper, first response. Warden of the Beyond, and a Liliana Vess. This is uh, uh, something that happened over the recording. Liliana Vess, as I'm back to, it's uh, two black and three. For its plus one is target player discards a card, minus two, 
and search your library for a card, then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. And it's my eight ability is put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. It's a very nice planeswalker. I like it. It does a lot. It does a lot for me at least. Alright. Here we go. Meteorites, restock, overwhelm, and a rare is a burning anger. One red and four for an enchantment creature. Chain creature is tap. This creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. And a foil, hushwing griff. Nice, nice foil. It's our foil rare. Probably won't see another one then in this box. Usually guaranteed one foil rare. If you're lucky you get a foil mythic. This is actually my third M15 box I've ever opened. First one was pretty good, got a foil sliver hive lord. Second one, eh, it was alright. So far this one's not that bad. Feast of the on the Fallen, Reclamation Sage. Might makes right, and a rare is a Goblin Kaboomist. One red and one for one two at the beginning of your upkeep. Put a colorless artifact token named Landmine into the battlefield. With red, sacrifice this artifact. Artifact deals two damage to target attacking creature without flying. Then flip a coin. If you lose the flip, Goblin Kaboomist deals two damage to itself. Eh. Eh. Not one of my favorites. Still looking for a uh, Nissa, a Goblin Rattlemaster. All right, there you go with a Heat Ray, Belligerent Sliver, Necrogen Scooter, and a Jace of the Living Guild Pack. Two blue and two for five. It's plus one is look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your graveyard. It's minus three, return another target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. And its ultimate is each player shuffles his or her hand and graveyard into his or her library. You draw seven cards. It's it's an alright planeswalker. Regardless, it is a planeswalker. Turn, turn to frog. Paragon of open graves, staff of the mind magus, and a colonian twin grove. One green of five. Colonian twin grove's power and toughness are each equal to the number of forests you control. When colonian twin grove enters the battlefield, put a green tree folk warrior creature token on the battlefield where the creature's power and toughness are equal to the number of forests you control. It's a nice little bomb there. Nice little limited bomb. Especially if you're playing all green. All mono green. Still trying to get used to the terminology I've been out of it for so long. So, yep. Alright. Here we go. A Johnny's Pride Mate. Diffusion Sliver, Profane Memento, and a rare is a Spirit Bonds. One white and one for an enchantment whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield into your control, you may pay one white. If you do, put a 1-1 one -one white spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Pay one in white, sacrifice a spirit, target non-spirit creature gains indestructible until end of turn. Not bad. Alright. Still looking for the Nissa. Some of the uh, pain lands. I don't mind a couple pain lands. 
Battlefield Forage. Landlord Wastes. Let's see what we get here. All right. Gargoyle and Sentinel. Boon Weaver Giant. Stab Wound. And a Mercular Mercurial Pretender. One blue and four. We have Mercurial Pretender enter the enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature you control except it gains two, two and two blue return this creature to its owner's hand. Eh. It's not bad. Sunblade Elf, Gather Courage, Quick Thing, and a rare is a Haunted Plate Mail. Four, Equip Creature <clears throat> gets plus four, plus four. Zero, until end of turn, Haunted Plate Mail becomes a 4 4 spirit artifact creature that's no longer in equipment. Activate this ability only if you control no creatures. It's an alright artifact. I'm hoping my next box I'm going to try and get will either be a Cons, a Gate Crash, or I don't know, maybe a Theros. Alright, a common Dark Steel Citadel, draw by Merc Lurker. Stoke of the Flames. This is a very good uncommon. Very good. And a Scuttling Doom Engine is our rare. Six for a 6-6 six, six. artifact creature. Scuttling Doom Engine can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. When Scuttling Doom Engine dies, it deals 6 damage to target opponents. And we have a Foil Living Totem. Also plan on doing some fat packs. Probably get some Innistrad or Avacyn Restored booster packs. Maybe some Dark Ascension. I know it's, those aren't you know that old, but gotta go and start with, out with first one I can get. Eventually, want to get some revised Legends Arabian Nights. All right, first in common military intelligence. Serve of the masses. Staff of the Sun Magus. And our rare is a Chief Engineer. One blue and one for one three. Artifact spells you cast have Convoke. Eh, not bad. And a Tree Folk Warrior token. I'm going to try and um, make these videos hopefully weekly. And um, I hope you guys like it. If you do, click the like button. And uh, the more likes I'll get, and the more videos I'll post. So, uh, first and common Wall of Essence. Back to Nature. Exethid Red Slive Blade. It's hard enough if I uh, say this wrong. And our rare is an Indulgent Tormentor. Two black and three for a five three flyer. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card unless target opponent sacrifices a creature or pays three life. So that's not bad. I like that. Ooh, and a Garuk Emblem. It's weird, everyone thought Garuk would be high up in price. He really really dropped down. He's actually below some of the other planeswalkers too now.
All right, first thing common, <clears throat> act on impulse, endless obedience, wall of frost, and a Yavimi coast. They're rare. <clears throat> Green, blue, pain land. Uncommon is a juggernaut. That card has been around forever. I remember playing that back in the day. <clears throat> Altic Bloodseeker, Sacred Armory, and another Pain Land, Cave of Colios, Colis, White Black Pain Land, and a Foil Gargoyle Sentinel. Wall of Mulch is our first one coming. Grave Digger, Into the Void, and a Yissin the Wanderer Bard. One green two for a two three. Legendary creature. Hey, uh, one. It's the Yissinin the Wanderer Bard. One green two. And tap, put a verse counter on Yissin the Warder. Search your library for a creature card with a converted mana cost equal to the number of verse counters on Yusin. Put it on the bot, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. It's not a bad card. Not a bad. Hopefully my next video won't have all these hiccups. I do have a better camera for it. <clears throat> so here we go. Paragon of Fierce Defiance. Capture Kite Fins. Battle Mastery. And a Nissa. Oh yeah. Nissa World Waker. Two green and three. It's plus one. Target land you control becomes a four four elemental creature with trample. It's still a land. It's other plus one is untap up the four target forests. It's ultimate is search your library for any number of basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, and then shuffle your library. Those lands become four four elemental creatures with trample. They're still lands. That is just awesome. Fresh pack Nissa. One of the best cards in M15. Oh yeah. That's three planeswalkers already. That's nice. All right, let's go for a fourth. Be nice to get four planeswalkers in a box. We got six of them in the set. Why don't I get four in a box? All right, hot soup. First response. Warden of the Beyond. And it, where is Jarlira, Master Polymorphist? One blue and three for a 2 2 legendary creature. <clears throat> blue and, a blue and two and tap, sacrifice another creature. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non legendary creature card. Put that card in the battlefield and the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Not a bad card. Alright, here we go with the next one. First uncommon, Blood Host, Roaring Primadox, 
And this is Expedition. Rare is Aggressive Mining. One word and three. Can't play lands. Sacrifice land, draw two cards, activate this ability only once each turn. Eh, kind of sucks. And a foil selfless cather. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And, uh, I remember I did get this booster box from the Gaming Goat out in Geneva, Illinois. You can also get them at the GamingGoat.com and find a bunch of various singles and buy booster boxes and packs and even cases. Alright, here we go. Insol Artifact. Brawler's Plate. Circle of Flame. And an Avacyn Guardian Angel. Three white and two. Five four flying vigilance. One white and one. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to another target creature this turn by sources of the color of your choice. Two white and five. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to target player this turn by sources of the color of your choice. Hmm, not bad. Cone of Flame, Ancient Silverback, Rogue's Gloves, and an Ergborg Tomb of Yagmoth. Each land is a swamp. Not a bad card. So we pull Swarm Mythics. Be nice to pull a fifth. Tormod's Crypt, Paragon of Open Craves, Belligerent Slipper, and a rare is a Grind Clock. Two, tap, put a charge counter on a Grind Clock, tap, target player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, where X is the number of charge counters on Grind Clock. It's not a bad card, not a bad at all. down to the final six packs. Ooh, there's a misprint. Maybe a common misprint, but look at that. That is one big misprint. Poor cut. Bad cut. Put that one aside. Alright. Dauntless River Marshal, Diffusion Sliver, Necrogen Scudder, and rare is a Stain the Mind. One Black of War, Sorcery with Convoke, name an online card, search target player's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with a name and exile them. Then that player shuffles his or her library. Yeah, it's alright. Sorry about that. Gargoyle Sentinel, Constructing Sliver, Caustic Tar, Rare is a Avarice Amulet. Four. Equip creature gets plus two plus zero, has vigilance at the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. When a equip creature dies, target opponent gains control of Avarice Amulet. That can suck. As long as you keep it though.
Venom Sliver. Staff of the Death Magus. Illusionary Angel. And a Waste Knot. One black and one. Enchantment. Whenever an opponent discards a creature card, put a 2 2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. <clears throat> whenever an opponent discards a land card, add 2 black to your manifold. Whenever an opponent discards a non creature, non land card, draw a card. It can be a good card, especially with Thought Seize and a bunch of other discarding cards. Do quite a bit of damage. Alright, time to get to that. Final three. Go with that. Jeez. And we have a Dark Steel Citadel. Jace's Ingenuity. And a Devouring Light. And a Spectre Ward. Enchant creature gets, oops, sorry about that, gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from all colors. This effect doesn't remove auras. That is not a bad card. Final two. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my very first video, and if you do like it, just hit like. You can subscribe at the bottom. I'll put a link for you guys to subscribe. And a link for thegamingoat.com. Alright. Gather Courage. Geist of the Moors. Feral Incarnation. And a Genesis Hydra. To your next... Whenever the, you cast Genesis Hydra, reel the top X cards of your library. You may put a non-land permanent card from a converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Then shuffle the rest of your library. Genesis Hydra enters the battlefield. X plus one plus one counters. That's a pretty good Hydra. And a foil Orthopter. Alright, for our last booster pack. Let's go for our fifth mythic. Be nice to get another planeswalker, or even a foil one. Foil one would be great. Don't get that many pain lands, so wouldn't mind a pain land. All right, brood keeper. Act on impulse. Staff of the sun, I guess. And a Siege Dragon. Wah wah. Two red and five for five high flying. The Siege Dragon enters the battlefield, destroy all walls. Opponent controls whenever a Siege Dragon attacks. If the defending player controls no walls, it deals two damage to each creature without flying that player controls. Eh, that is not a great card. It is seven for a five five flyer. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will be posting more videos within the next week and uh, we'll see what we go get from there thank you again